walks out and will get a kill on three health. K Star's gonna be coming in here from Puka though. Ooh. Be jumping out. Oh man, everything's going. K Star slaying, gets his second, gets his third. Might get up. Finds. Wow. Doesn't find the fourth. Ka Kairu helps him out, finds it for him, but. Woo wee. That's gonna be another it round. Explosive pistol round coming out there from MSOE. And it looked like the tide was at least turning for SMSU. They were getting some kills there, but then something just happened. A lot of MSOE members were almost halfway gone there, or and some for some on death's door. So, I don't know. They just have to commit a little bit more here. Just start shooting in the smoke. <laughs> Seems <laughs> yeah, to work man, for you them. Gotta, shooting in the smoke, almost always the right answer as long as you have a phantom. Yeah. As long as you, as have, long as you don't have tracers going through the smoke for you to get instant head dink back hey, any any shoot gun, through the smoke <laughs> you just have a gun to start popping shots you might clip somebody even if it's just a smidge of health out. it's all the more yeah, reason chip damage makes all the difference and look at this oh, peter oh, so oh aggressive my. but he does not take a shot and instead uses his smoke to cover all his that track. defensive utility to help him out peter is going to get picked up there by the beast mod though what? but if you want to get answer back on his own the Actually double kill the double possibly triple if he had a vandal in his hands Oh my goodness. And just like that, can't go B no more. That and bomb is stuck. Look at K-Star. Look at K-Star's position. They don't expect him there. This oh, is going to actually back off. Not going to take the risk, but Kingslayer is definitely going to try. This encounter going to be happening here. Jackson will take out K-Ru as K-Star puts the bullet in the Kingslayer's Five dome. And it's just down, down to piece of it. red again. The frenzy nine bullets. Not much can't you can do. get him to connect. And Chowder going to pick him up there for MSOE's ninth round win. Now the deficit begins to grow again now. Nine to five. Now I'm not talking about a, a standard work shift. This is <laughs> this is Valorant we're talking about here. And this game in general has been better than it was previously. They are giving them a fight, but they just can't seem to connect with anything. You have a Neon who decides to just go out of their way to make some changes and try <laughs> to do some plays, and it just doesn't work. And now Come you have rifles going all the SMSU here. Gonna try their best to get some shots in, but just because they got rifles. Yeah, SMSU has to win this round. It's the bonus round for MSOE. It's gonna really, really hurt them. Possibly even seal the deal if they lose this round. So Woken gonna come up big there, get an opening pick for SMSU, exactly what they need. That's one for sure. Definitely gonna help them out. And Pizza Bread's just gonna go for the plant. And he's just gonna start shooting through the smoke. And he's gonna miss. actually not gonna get any shots to connect there. A little bit lower, and that would have been good. Unless that, unless the wall was there. You know, sometimes, it. <laughs> sometimes the spray gods are good to you. Sometimes the spray gods are bad to you. It's kinda just how it works sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta pray to that RNG god. And it's gonna be the bomb down now for SMSU. So they do have an advantage here, 5v4. Gonna go for the TP, defuse fake, and they're just gonna go for it. He's gonna start shooting the smoke, oh, but here. Oh, the- Doesn't get it to half. The Thought he might have just stuck it, but- Wow. SMSU getting real dominant win there. Managed to get out of it with four of their members alive yeah. on the bonus round. So not giving MSOE as much as they would hope to get in terms of economic damage onto the SMSU team. Now MSOE going to have their rifles their own and be a dangerous game. Yeah, I think the the biggest thing for them to do now is, you know, now they got to win gunfights. Now it's just strictly, now everyone's got rifles. If SMSU wins this round, it's definitely going to tank the uh, MSOE team now, very hard for sure. MSOE, or SMSU does have the Sage res. So they do. Interesting that Red's actually not pocketing off of anybody, and he might actually get really pushed. A lot of aggression coming out from MSOE, really wanting that uh, that alt orb there. Yeah, and they know Playing that Sage. They know that Sage does have her ult as well. So if they get Sage, that's gonna really gonna help MSOE. And MSOE maybe making the call to rotate early over here. They are gonna commit K Star over to A site, so they're gonna match SMSU with just a man disadvantage. And this is actually interesting. Piece of bread has just been chilling in fountain the whole time. He has not moved since the beginning of round. And I think they're just waiting for him, someone to die, so he can scuttle his way over there and uh, get a sneaky res in. But, or he could be just watching for someone to rotate. But the dart does come out. And they will uh, have to have to move away from there. Oh, and the oh, grenade. Maybe he wants the grenade. Not oh, like he man. Wants it to go. That could have been bad, especially on a choke point like this. And they're going to initiate this push. They don't want to try and make some moves here. Look at these smokes being stacked here by the Astra. 
Rest of you. Damage from both the teams here, except for the chamber. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That wall saved him for sure. That was going to be disgusting. Using his own, using their smokes against them. Kingslayer gets oh, blinded there by K Star. K Star pushing out through U Haul. He gets blinded himself. The Beast Mod. Pick him up. VB1 is going to take out Jackson. Beast Mod is going to be watching. Keep his eyes out. But K Ru still gets him. And then the. Oh my goodness. That's going to be the round. All thanks to Raze's Util at the very end. Not a good way to end the round for SMSU. Not and what you're look looking at for. Look at that. Shooting down on the corpse of his friend BB1. MSUE feeling a little good here. Feeling like they might be taking home the win in finals here. Whoa, whoa, oh, hold up here. And we might actually have a bit of a connection issue here. Yeah. Jackson did just disconnect. Looks like he, yep, it looks like he has crashed. So we will be taking a timeout here. There's a little bit of a chance. I mean, this also works in their favor for the most part. I mean, it sucks to crash, but also let's talk about what's been going on in these last past rounds. I know that just rhymed, but like looking at the the pattern that we've seen here, mm -hmm. and it's happened in Icebox as well. I I still feel like retakes should be their strength here. That's, that's just me. Yeah, you know, something I noticed, you, you pointed it out that a uh, piece of bread in that last round was lurking really hard over towards B main. And that's something that I think typically we see a lot coming out from SMSU when they're feeling really confident. They feel really good leaving one player on the other side of the map or in the mid area of the map to just passively hold control yeah. and watch for rotates. And we definitely haven't, we didn't see that like at all in Icebox. Yeah. Um, saw a couple good setups from SMSU, but they just, you know, kept falling to gunplay. Um, and, you know, not seeing it a lot here on Bind either. Yeah. Um, I don't believe we're actually going back into the game here. I did, I I did think see. we need to. I did see that Jackson had reconnected previously. Okay. The uh, match is paused, just yep. by the way. Okay. Match is for sure paused, so we are just kind of waiting for confirmation that he has returned and that we're good to go. But for right now, this is also a chance for SMSU to huddle up and be like, hey, mm -hmm. what are we doing right now? It's a four-round deficit. What are we doing wrong? Back up. And, you know, you, you can kind of see what's been going on. I mean, MSOE has just been playing a... They have one member at least being aggressive, but for the most part, it is just MSOE playing a little more passively. So, at this point, what do you do? You know, what what is supposed to be done for SMSU? I think... With a, with a comp like this, do you just play passively? I don't think so. I, I think it's a little difficult for SMSU because they opted to have a double duelist comp. Um, and they actually don't have a sentinel. Yeah. It's actually really interesting for Bayern. That might have hurt them on defense a little bit. Usually with B, and we talked about it a little bit earlier, B is such a hard site to retake if you get it on attack um, because it's so choked out. Yep. And that makes it really, really hard to attack, oh, so too. Oh, and it looks like we are good to go. They have uh, they brought everyone back together. And it's just to kind of piggyback off of that. I mean, both teams do do have a sentinel. Yeah, they, they, they got a piece of bread with the wall. And honestly, I I always forget that <laughs> Sage is technically a sentinel. I yeah, always just yeah, think no, it's, it's totally fine. And then, and, and you know, that wall is so good at stopping things. But you see piece of bread going for, like, really aggressive peaks. Oh, and, and Kai refining an opening pick there with the tour de force. Yeah, and now Piece of Bread being the first one up. That Help should not up. happen, I feel like. You don't want to have your healer Sentinel leading the charge going on to site. Because if mm -hmm. they die, there goes your healer, a possible res. I mean, oh, oh. Okay, we're finding a second one. And Chowder, Chowder following up with him. And this is very bad for SMSU. They have Spike down in sight. And now it's up to Neon and Sage, two characters that have very different play styles now having to work <laughs> together piece of bread does have the res but he needs to get into a position where he can actually use it safely which is going oh to be my very very hard to do when you have kairu looking at you with a tour to force and, and there's not much you could do find there. his third for the three k on the round yeah there's not much you could do there i mean this was just utter decimation from that round alone i mean kairu hitting the tour to four shots and now every member except kairu has their alt so you will see Hunter Fury, Viper's Pits coming out. You might see some K-Star lurks, maybe even a fake TP. And especially now that Raze has her showstopper, 
especially you got you have to look out for these short narrow openings like bathroom now you gotta watch out for a main hookah There's yeah a lot this of is this is definitely the round for smsu to be using those three alts that they have you need to see that res coming out from the piece of bread oh Kairu my finds an goodness. opening pick again woken trying to get some u-haul control here with the rocket the going rocket. away chowder gonna, gonna be shoot it but oh. doesn't see Kairu in time to give it to him yeah shoots it toward tetris oh, Kairu and looking like real that. deadly finds oh my goodness oh, and the man. beast mod will go down to k-star as we reach match point and craw match mcgraw point. this is looking like it's going to be an sms or a msoe not to denigrate <laughs> <laughs> MSOE. an msoe finals win this might be it they if they they need a miracle right now they've just not been able to do anything and of course you know, on a round like this, I'm not going to be surprised if MSOE just throws everything at the wall and just uh, ults everything right? and just says, screw it. We're at the...
We do have a replacement for him. We're hoping to bring him up in the summer okay. for sure. Help him, you know, help him grow. He might not be the piece of bread, but we're hoping it'll be something. Yeah, a successor, if, uh, if anything. And that, and that is very exciting to see. And I got to say, from watching you guys improve from so long ago, especially compared to you know the Mankato win from last year, which was really big. But you know we come here, unde another undefeated season, another great showing in playoffs. We're here in finals and. I gotta say, compared to last year, it's obviously disheartening to see this loss. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something that you guys just have to come back to next year, and I'm very excited to see what you guys have in store. Is there going to be a change in comp now that there's uh, some new, you know, characters? Are we going to probably see Fade in the next year or so, or um, next year or so for sure? But I don't know if we could pull her out in nationals. There might be some rules uh -huh. with that, yeah. but uh, for sure in the next couple of years. Well, I'm very excited. I'm going to be watching. I won't be here, unfortunately. This is going to be. Most likely my final games to cast as well. So, but I will be watching you guys from the sidelines, and I'm very excited to see what you guys do. But I think that's where we're going to end this interview here. It's a pleasure talking to you as always, the Beast Mod. I'm glad you guys are here, and uh, as always, it's nice to get you guys in the booth every once in a while. But we will be right back with yet another interview with the piece of bread. So please do not turn off that that Twitch stream just yet. We're going to be right back. Thank you for having me. No problem. Piece of bread. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Final game. Final game of your season. This is, you know, pretty big stuff for you. Yeah, uh, we still have nationals oh, to yeah, look forward to. For sure, for sure. And, I mean, even from that, you know, from your showing in the regular season, you guys are going to nationals, which is very big, you know. And I got to say, how does it feel for you? This is final season, and I got to say, to end off on a high note going into nationals, that's pretty big. Yeah, it feels pretty good to get to nationals at least. It's it's a big accomplishment yeah. uh, for such a small college. Um, obviously, not winning finals doesn't feel the best, but, you know, you can't win them all. Right. Uh, I, I still, we, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, team grew, like, a lot. Yeah. Uh, at the start, compared to the start of the season, uh, all of our ranks pretty much went up exponentially. Um, it, it, it was a, it was just a tough loss today. Yeah, and I mean it, it, and that's just kind of what happens, you know. You guys had really strong showing. You guys came together, especially now in these last couple of games that we've seen. This has probably been the strongest that you guys have been since, you know, since the beginning. I mean, and I've been there since the beginning, watching you guys grow to be this really strong unit. I mean, this has been an, uh, incredible, especially when you know. You look back at how we used to be. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, back last year we were all silver, you yeah. know, running around. We were getting four thirteen every single map, but this year uh, we we made an adjustment, got a couple new players, really improved overall, just as a team. We've been working hard at that, and you know, again, sucks uh, not getting the final win here, but we still do have nationals look forward to, which will be nice. Yeah, and that's going to be extremely exciting. And I got to say, you know. Now that you're graduating, what, what does the future hold for you uh, now that you're going to be done with college? Uh, for me, I'm going to be continuing my internship over at BDI. Ooh. So um, I'll, I'll do that for about another year, and then I'll be looking towards to getting a master's in some area of child psychology. I still haven't looked at what kind of um, or which college I want to go to, uh, but... I'm taking it one year at a time, I guess. Oh, yeah. No, got to take it slow, especially with these, uh, this graduation coming up for me, too. I'm kind of like, ugh. <laughs> got to figure out what I got to do for my plan. And I guess to cap off this interview, do you have any last words for the audience or for anyone watching at home? You know, thanks for showing up. You know, uh, start of the year, we had, like, two viewers, and they were all from the eSports crew. So <laughs> I love that 50 people showed up to watch us. The yes, community sir. here yes, at sir. SMSU is, it feels like a family. Much love, everybody. Yeah, honestly, you guys are the best. This is why we keep going. This is why we keep doing what we love to do. And that's going to do it for us here for SMSU Esports. I mean, for the season as of right now, that's it until Nationals, which will be late, late May. So May 27th, 28th, and 29th. So please make sure you guys tune in for that because I'll probably come back for that. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'll come back and, and, and cast it for you guys, but we will see you guys in Nationals.